I'm Greg Staggs. I'm a practicing attorney in Atlanta, Georgia. We work on serious injury and death cases. Today we're talking about what is a motion for summary judgment. Picture this. A lawsuit starts with a complaint. The other side answers within 30 days. There's a discovery process. Information is exchanged back and forth. And then you expect if the case doesn't get settled, it's going to trial and 12 people are going to decide the case. But many times the case is submitted to a judge on a motion for summary judgment. And the other side, what they're trying to do is have the case dismissed because it's missing some legal technical point. It doesn't have enough evidence to make it go forward. So when you hear the word motion for summary judgment, that's a bad day because that means this case is being looked upon by the insurance company as a case that will be decided by a judge that will never get to a jury and if it doesn't get to a jury you won't get a verdict and you won't get a settlement. Let me give you an example. We had a case where we had a construction worker that was working on a three-story building. He was throwing insulation off the side of the building and he slipped on a sandy substance. He reached for the safety rail and the safety rail gave way and he fell three stories and it looked like he was going to die. But by really good medical care he survived it but he was very very badly injured. We found out that a sheetrock company had delivered sheetrock to the third floor and their workers had taken the safety rail off and then tapped it back but they tapped it back loosely and it wasn't secure. Well on a motion for summary judgment the sheetrock company said we had not established negligence and there's two things in negligence you have to show standard of care and a breach of that standard of care. What we did is we brought in an expert from OSHA and he showed what the safety regulations would be and how they would apply to this situation. So by affidavit we established a standard of care and then by depositions of everyone that had witnessed the delivery we established evidence that showed that the sheetrock company had violated that standard of care when they nailed back on the safety rail. It then went to the judge and the judge had to make a decision whether we had substantial evidence on the standard of care on a construction site. He ruled in our favor and permitted the case to go to trial. We did not get the case settled. We did go to trial. We opened, we presented evidence, the jury was out deliberating. The company never offered us a dime. The jury came back with a substantial verdict for our client. We won the motion for summary judgment. We set the predicate for the trial. We put in up the OSHA expert who was very convincing and we saved the day. My name is Greg Stokes. I'm an attorney that handles these kinds of cases. If you ever need advice about what I've said here, and, and if you're represented by your own attorney, you have to go to your attorney for that advice. But if you need more information about motions for summary judgment, please give us a call. Our number is 1-800-700-5050. Thanks for watching this video.